hey i just wanted to share a dream this is a rapture dream i never had a rapture dream ever in my life anyway it started i was in a building i was in a city for sure and um, I don't know what city. I don't know if it was New York or Los Angeles. I'm not really sure. But I know I was in a city. And I was in a high part of the building. One of the top floors. And I can see out the window. And I can see all the other buildings. And it was a beautiful day. The sky was just clear. Not one cloud in the sky. And um, all of a sudden, clouds just start to form. And I was like, that's odd. And I'm looking out the window and just imagine all this is blue over my head and all of a sudden from nothing, clouds just start to form. So that's what I seen. Clouds started to form. And as these clouds started to form, I can hear crackling and thundering, but it was a lot of crackling. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know, before you hear a boom, sometimes you just hear this crackling but it was just it was different and it was unique and I was like wow this is so strange and at the time my stepsister she was there with me and I was like something not right this is unusual this is not normal and I started seeing blackness in the cloud and this blackness started to just overtake the sky and Immediately, I was just like, oh my goodness, could it be, could could, could, could Christ be, is, is he on his way, like what is going on, is this the rapture, and immediately I grabbed my sister, and I got on my knees, and I was like, repent, repent, repent right now, repent right now, and she was looking at me like kind of confused, and um, and just to let you guys know is that she's trying, my stepsister's trying to find her way and um, she hasn't been baptized. We're not to say that, you know, I don't know if you have to be baptized to be saved or anything. I don't want to get into the politics of, you know, it or debates, but uh, she is not baptized. And I know she was talking about getting baptized and she does seem like she really want to start changing her life. But um, anyway, in my dream, I was like, Get on your knees. Get on your knees right now. She got on her knees. And I said, ask for forgiveness. Repent. Repent. Say, Jesus. And then she was like, she had her eyes closed real tight. And she was like, Jesus. I said, say, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my sins. You know, tell him you love him. And I can't remember everything that I was saying, but I was like just screaming. I'm like, tell him you love him. Scream it. Let him know. Forgive you for your sins and that you are sorry and you're repenting right now. Tell him don't leave you here. And I was saying that. And as I was saying this, darkness just overtook the room that I was in. Like it was some darkness. It was... It was a darkness that it wasn't just dark. It was darkness that was alive. That's the only way I can just describe it. It was evil. And at this time, I was just like, I started. I was like, Father, Father, I repent of my sins. Father, I, forgive me. Forgive me for any indiscretions. Father, I ask you right now. And I'm just looking up. My eyes never was closed because I was looking at her because I wanted to make sure that she was really just repenting you know and at this point i'm like let me just make sure i'm covered i'm like I, I started repenting and i'm holding her hands real tight i'm holding both of my hands was holding hers and at this point i can no longer even see her face because the darkness you couldn't even see your hands in front of your face i couldn't see anything and i'm just looking up and i'm like god forgive me lord please don't leave me here heavenly father and i just seen this darkness and i knew i knew god was on his way i'm just like oh my goodness please father take me please take me don't leave me here please don't take me please take me don't leave me here and at that very moment i heard a trumpet sound oh it was so loud it was so loud at the very moment that i heard this trumpet it was like I know it's gonna sound stupid, but it was like, ooh, ooh, and I could hear it in my right ear. Not that I couldn't hear it in my left, but when I tell you, it was so prevalent, 
and it went through my body like a vibration. It went through my body and all of a sudden I could feel my body just tingling all over like little pricklies. And all of a sudden I just felt myself changing, my body just transforming. And I knew, I knew I was being lifted up. And I was just like, I just started praising God. I'm sorry, I had to interrupt it. Um, I believe I was at where my body was transformed. And um, I heard this trumpet. And the trumpet was so loud. And at the moment I heard the trumpet is when my body transformed and I started to be lifted up out of the darkness. And I was just thanking God. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And um, it was amazing. I was just, it was going so fast. I was flying through the sky and um, I could see other spiritual, the outlines of the bodies just flying through to just then all I was doing was just thanking God thanking God and at the same time that I'm thanking God and just praising him I knew that it was chaos on the earth I knew that that darkness was evil I knew that it was horrible things going on on the earth and um I just thank God that he didn't allow me to see that because he he knows my heart. I mean, even from the dream that I had, I was like, it touched my heart so much. It was bittersweet because once I got to where I was, and I'm not going to say it was heaven. I don't know because I was in a room with other people. And everybody that was there, I knew. And we was hugging and we was happy. And I was like, oh my goodness, you made it, you made it, you made it. And we was hugging and we were so happy and excited. And um, I, I guess it was, this person was maybe a messenger. I don't know if it was a messenger, angel, maybe the same thing. But they said that where we were, that we would only be there for a little while. It was almost like it was just like a holding place. I remember seeing like yellow flowers on the walls. But when the person said that, like, you know, because we were so happy and it was like, you're not going to be here for that long. Like, you, this is, but they didn't say it in a bad way. It was just like, oh, this is nothing. Like, this is just, you're only going to be here for a little while. That was the exact words. You're only going to be here for a little while. And we was like, whew, long as we ain't on earth, long as we ain't there, you know. And then this is the sad part is that um, one of my friends said, well, where's your husband? And I was like, I don't, my exact words, I don't know. He wasn't with me. And at that moment, I knew he was on the earth and he was more consumed with the world and what was going on in the world. And not that me and this person had a conversation, but I immediately knew. And that's what's confusing to me because I know, you know, you shouldn't have that sorrow. I felt a sadness, but I also was joy. But I also knew that wherever I was, it that wasn't my permanent place. So I don't know, you know, what that dream is. I, I pray to God that, um, you know, if it's a spiritual attack and it's not from him that is bind and I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus over my physical and over my spiritual body. In Jesus Christ, everybody who watched this, Heavenly Father, I pray for their discernment and I pray, Heavenly Father, that you continue to bless the body of Christ and you use me as a light. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.